Hey guys, Andrew here with Drew Fit. I want to thank you for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Uh, this video is going to be more geared towards the male viewers as DHT is an androgen that plays a significant role in uh, development of male characteristics and sexual development <clears throat> for males specifically. Um, there's a lot of information out there about uh, DHT being the main driver of hair loss, DHT really not being useful after a certain point. Um, and there's a lot of information about taking the hair loss drug finasteride, which is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor that stops the conversion of testosterone into DHT in hopes that it's going to halt hair loss. Um, but what you you will come to find uh, when you start looking into finasteride or Propecia, as it's called, um, the hair loss drug, is that there's a whole community out there, the post-finasteride syndrome community, where you hear literally thousands of stories of men that have had their lives destroyed by taking this hair loss drug, whether it be libido issues, mental health issues, um, just bleeding into every facet of their lives. So <clears throat> um, I just want to put this video out there with hopes that, you know, it'll hit the right ears of people looking to, you know, regain their health, uh, whether they may have low DHT from, you know, not even taking the hair loss drug, or if they did take the hair loss drug, um, finasteride, this video could be beneficial. And I'm going to recommend one supplement that has uh, been clinically studied to show um, that it does increase DHT. It's a, you know, pretty fairly cheap uh, product and you can take it daily. It's very safe, very highly studied. Um, but just to give you a little uh, backstory on DHT, uh, like I said, it's dihydrotestosterone. It plays a key role in sexual development, um, stimulates development of male characteristics. Um, the great thing about DHT that nobody talks about, a lot of people say, like I said, DHT is insignificant after a certain point of a male's life. Um, <clears throat> but it is actually, um, has been cited as an estrogen receptor agonist that helps maintain healthy testosterone levels. Um, people have also stated that it can uh, help heal gynecomastia. That's when um, men have too much estrogen uh, circulating in their, their tissue um, and actually creates breast tissue. So um, that's, a, that's a good benefit in itself. Um, another thing I came across on uh, Hans Amoto, I hi highly encourage you guys to check out his YouTube channel. He has a lot of great information um, geared towards uh, testosterone and DHT levels and uh, stuff like that. But he was talking about, um, let's see, DHT can block the increase in cortisol, which is fantastic because <clears throat> cortisol, as we all know, um, just like estrogen, when they're both uh, significantly significantly increased, they um, kind of wreak, wreak havoc on our health, uh, make it very difficult to uh, maintain a healthy body weight, um, you know, be able to deal with stress. So things like that, DHT is um, very beneficial and can help big time. But when you're taking a hair loss drug that's halting that conversion from testosterone to DHT, you're going to run into a long line of issues. Uh, one of those things also being uh, damaging of the gut. Low DHT has been shown um, to have a uh, impact on gut health as well. Um, other things that DHT can help it can increase bone density. Um, increasing your DHT can enhance your mental health, um, make you calm, not be really submissive, uh, more confident. Um, it helps with having a deeper voice, bigger muscles, enhanced libido, less anxious. A lot of very great things and um, well, there's, there's a lot of studies out there that say that, you know, taking this hair loss drug is safe and that DHT is insignificant, but if you're just looking at basic human biology, um, and you will understand that that conversion happens for a reason from testosterone to DHT, um, and I think halting that is going to change the chemistry of the body significantly, and I think that's why the post finasteride syndrome community exists, is because... Um, you know, there's so many issues that people run into. So uh, the one supplement that I'm going to recommend that people take, and like I've said, this has been uh, cited in studies to increase DHT significantly, and that is creatine monohydrate. Um, like I said, it's very inexpensive. You take, what is it, five grams uh, once a day. Um, a lot of people like to load up in the first two weeks where you're taking like 20 grams. Um, I think if you just take five grams, um, Every single day, it'll just have an accumulation factor and you won't have to do that loading phase, but you can if you want. Um, but it is, it is a very fantastic supplement, highly sought after. Um, 
um, what's it say on here? Supports fast recovery after exercise, enhanced athletic performance. It never talks about actually increasing DHT um, on any of the marketing uh, for it because, you know, DHT gets a bad rap, but it is something that will help. <clears throat> um, another great thing about taking creatine is that it puts the water um, intracellular in the muscles, which is where you want it. So another added benefit is that your muscles are going to look more filled, uh, more bulky when you do take creatine. I um, mean, you're just going to feel a little bit stronger as well. So a lot of great things um, from increasing DHT um, and one safe supplement that I've come across in doing so is going to be creatine. And I hope that um, you guys come across this video and highly look into uh, creatine. I'll link some of the studies below. Um, and also do your own research because I think you're going to be um, very interested with what you find when it comes to DHT and how it impacts your health. Um, you know, I, I know testosterone is very important, but I think DHT is right up there next to testosterone to being very crucial for our health um, as being a man. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to drop your little tidbit on your experience with taking finasteride and um, how you've overcome it, drop that below. I'm sure somebody can uh, really benefit from reading your story. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.